Greetings and salutations, universe. This is your mini Krita, and this is Feed the Beast. Interactions. Hee <laughs> hee. Uh, in the last episode, we were taking a look at all sorts of fantastic stuff as far as blood magic goes, and uh, yeah, I've uh, I've continued the quest slightly. Um, I need to go and kill a whole bunch of things, but I'm taking some of our Tartarctic gems putting them in these crucibles, and uh, I didn't make more crystallizers, but, you know, we're getting a few demon will. And the next thing that we really need to be able to accomplish is to make more blank runes for the next layer of the altar. Ha <laughs> ha! Um, and for that, we need knacker. So I've made this construction right here. Uh, it looks a little bit complicated, but it's quite simple. Um, there is three things going on with this fluid. We have a dispenser, which just picks it up using, uh, picks up the knacker using buckets on a redstone signal. It sends those buckets to this placer, which places it in this tank, and then it gets sent back via item conduit, um, that are filtered for buckets and knacker buckets, like a so. Um, so those guys pick it up and then send the bucket back. And these guys spit out a gold nugget and they plop down some mana using a fluid placer. Um, I've narrowed down the timing to this to approximately 150 ticks. So if I activate this lever back here um, after 150 ticks, because it has to start off that way, we'll see this uh, yoink the knacker, place the fluid after a two tick delay because uh, there needs to be an empty spot, right? It then transfers to Knacker, and it gets picked up again. I could make it more efficient, but I don't want to. Um, the the glass up here makes sure that the gold doesn't hop out. Um, I did have that issue. And uh, yeah, we're, we're in business as far as Knacker goes, so I am super happy about that. Um, now all we need to do is set up a mixer, right? because uh, once we have the knacker, we do need to turn it into something. So let's take a look at what we need for that. Um, fluid transfer, there we go, mixer. Um, yeah, I guess it's just chiseled stone and, and there we go, knacker. Uh, from that point on, we'll just be using this crystals to turn it into arcane stones. And what was the process after that to get it to a rune? I know, I know there was a process somewhere. Blank rune. When in doubt, look it up. Blank rune. Ah. Blank slate. So we need to get a whole bunch of blank slates, and those you take the arcane stone. Oh man, that's that's not very fun. Well, in any case, we got the knacker. Um, the other thing that I'm working on is bringing our system down from up above. Um, Right now I just have a little access hatch. Uh, we've added another P2P so that down here we can start sort of branching off from here. It's only using one channel off of here, but again, the P2P gives us access to 32 channels. Um, and the first two are ME interfaces attached to this bad boy. Um, right now I don't have any fluid uh, hooked up with him. Uh, I think we just have two fluid hatches down here. I have another option for a second down below. And we're only doing uh, two amps of HV power into these guys. Um, I could do more, but it, it'll it function as is. Um, and the first recipe was, of course, stainless steel. Um, then I just need to route these conduits all the way to the freezer, and we'll be able to set up titanium production, which will be quite fantastic. You know, it's always cleaner to have less turns in the cables, so let's place, 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 and you do not have that enabled because I want it to go down there for visual purposes. And yoink, yoink, and yoink. There. Slightly less turning. Starting to have the tendrils of applied energistics coming down into the base. I like it a lot. So let us now figure out the whole blank slate problem. Um, we need lots of nocturnal powder, arcane stone, which we just figured out is that. Da 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 da. Okay, mixers, here we come. 
All right, I do want to kind of test out the uh, request table again. Um, if it has the capability to make all the things, it should function a lot better. At least that's my logic. Um, let's take a look at what it's requesting. Nanoprocessors should be right here. Um, oh, you don't need to be here. We, we're done with that. Come on, go away. Um, nanoprocessors doing its thing. Uh, speed it up just a little bit. There we go. And oh, see, it got everything. Perfect. Um, I like that a lot. We're actually going to request another set. Come over here. And oh, I guess that's still sped up. That's all good. Okay, cool. Um, let's see how it does for requesting this set. Uh, yep, everything looks great. It's probably just making a motor right now. Do, 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 do. Um, the only drawback is it doesn't make everything at once. Uh, it sort of makes things uh, in order of operations. There we go. Perfect. Um, so it's reasonable for making machines if you have every single recipe and every single uh, uh, resource to make those recipes complete. You need everything and it needs to be quite seamless. If you don't have anything, then you have to troubleshoot and that's more trouble than it's worth. You should have just made a, a pattern at that point. Um, Let's see, so how, how many blank runes ultimately do we need? I don't think it's all that many. Um, oh, that looks like it's about to be full, so I definitely need to yoink that on out. Um, I want a steel drum because those hold 64, and it's just such a perfect amount that it's pretty handy. There we go. Yoink that on out. Um, I don't necessarily know if I want a whole bunch more, but there's only 26 buckets left. I'm gonna turn that off and we're gonna go figure out this process. So we need lots of stone and gold nuggets, of which we can just place right there and doink, 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 doink. Um, yeah, that's fine. And after making some knacker in a mixer, there we go. Now we get a lot more arcane stone than we had before. And keeping in mind that the uh, all our little crystals like Volatus are super free because of our little chicken farm. Um, I love that so much. Next, we need to pop it into a mixer with our life essence. Now, how many things use life essence? Ah, I think I do have another, like a simple power catalyst mixer already set up. So it should be as simple as reaching into that. And the nocturnal powder I've been dealing with uh, in abundance from dungeons. I like that so, so much. I wonder if I already have this on like auto. Um, where is it? Is it you? No, is it you? No. Maybe I didn't make automatic power catalysts. Oh, that's a little sad and disappointing. Hmm. And there we go. That is much better now that we can do this in bulk. Um, that is so fantastic. Uh, can we make you go zoom, zoom, boom? Zoom, zoom. Oh, yeah, here we go. Here's the life essence spot. Um, huh, yeah, but we need that for unstable mana. So that that's pretty critical. Uh, zoom, zoom. Oh, there we go. Just need, I need like a whole bunch of HV crystals on hand at all time. That's really the conclusion here. Um, thank you very much for 64 of those. Hopefully that's enough to make uh, the number of blank runes I need. I don't remember how many I need on this next uh, tier, but it won't be that big of a problem. And after double checking and making these uh, runes, we should have more than enough. I'm even gonna use this knacker just sort of as a, a placeholder. Um, I believe it's just seven uh, around the sides. Oh, that's going to be close. Ooh, buddy. Um, definitely not going to be continuing on uh, with this design here. We're definitely going to move this. But, you know, temporary solutions are abundant in this playthrough. Uh, and I don't, I don't have any qualms with that. That's A-OK -okay with me. There we go. Place that. And that should be good. I made 32 and we only needed 26. These knacker blocks are actually kind of pretty. I like them. Look at that. They're all, they're all pretty and stuff. Here, we'll even place them like that temporarily. Um, 
now the block that we need to build with um, might as well use the that weird stone. No, not not coal coke. I guess we could use coal coke, but I want to use this stone for the pillars, and the pillars are uh, off the side. One, two, three, four, five high. Um, had to alt tab out to check, and I think we're have to gonna have to go through the roof for this. Um, so off the side, one, two, three. Four or five, and the top one should go on top right here. Um, whether or not that's accurate is up for debate. So, hi. Uh, I have some unfortunate news. OBS, uh, it, it had a whoopsie, uh, and it wasn't open. Ooh, jumpy little man. Um, look how small I am. It's so adorable. Uh, we made a runic altar together. And uh, you guys totally forgot, because apparently Will Smith got to you with like some sort of memory eraser thing, uh, but he was called Jay and not Will Smith. It was super confusing. Um, you guys, you had a blast. You just don't remember it. And uh, yeah, um, <laughs> we did it. We had a, a big issue with the, um, <laughs> with the infusion altar and it tried to attack us, uh, and all sorts of weird stuff happened. And then my game crashed, and now I can't fly. Um, so break this, as I usually have to do. Yoink, and yoink. Um, there we go, now we can fly again. This thing tried to nip us a little bit, and our we have some temporary warp right now. Not a happy camper at all. Um, yeah, yeah, you guys had a blast, trust me. Uh, we finally did do the demon altar. It's now a tier four. Awesome, right? It looks cool. I did sky stone instead of uh, the the knacker, and we we even got an awesome orb. It's currently charging up. Right, we're now at two hundred thousand. We need a whole bunch. Um, yeah, let's. Uh, and we're getting more demon crystals. I'm hoping that we can get some different types. Um, I know there's apparently a way to do it like intentionally, but I just don't know it. So we're trying to figure that out. Um, there is a chance that a random one will spawn when these guys are working. Um, and we even made a greater Tartic gem together. But again, some men in black suits made you completely forget. Oh no! I'm also still tiny. And I feel so adorable. <laughs> Um, I need to find uh, some cool things that I can fit in. Uh, I did find one, uh, which is these windows. Totally can walk right through them. Let's uh, see that. Ah! But I can't see myself in them, right? It go because now I'm on the other side. But uh, trust me, it's adorable. So cute. Um, so I'm definitely gonna have to go charge up this Greater Tartic Gem. And we have to get some different types of will because we really, really want to get, I think it's vengeful, right? Because we need to figure out how to get the, the sacrifice, sacrifice. We need vengeful will crystals for better sacrifice stuff. But now that we have the runic altar, we can still make a whole bunch of other ones, right? We can make augmented uh, capacity. Um, I need to remember which ones of these are better. I think one of them is percentages and the other one is a, a, a flat rate. Um, we can make demonic will now, so that's a thing. Ooh, I could make my own dislocator. That is a possibility. Tungsten dust. I don't know about tungsten. Uh, that might be holding us back a little bit. Uh, is there an ore byproduct thing that I can get this from? Tungstate. No. Centrifuge? Tungsten steel? No. Yeah, I think we there's a, something we need before we can get tungsten. Alright. I'm going to figure out <laughs> what to do at the end of the episode, because we totally <laughs> had a full episode, and uh, now we don't. Oh, oh, I can, I can fit it here. Look, I'm a chicken. Hello. Hello. Aha. I knew that the raw stone was useful for something. So it's good that I made some. There we go, raw demon eye. So we're gonna make this ter uh, terrestrial agglomerate plate. And uh, yeah, that should be pretty fantastic. 
Um, I think we need it for resonating gems or something of that nature. So that's going to be perfect. Uh, we're going to uh, yoink a little bit of this unstable f uh, mana and toss it in here. Um, perfect. I think it only needed one, right? One. Yeah, cool. Uh, three, one, and one. Do -do 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 -do. And here we go. Terrestrial agglomeration plate. Perfect. Um, you know, I was talking about this teleportation stuff not working. Look, another one. Um, <laughs> I have to go to the Batania area via these ones for some reason, and that is the only way I can get into this Batania area. All right, with a spark, we're gonna slap down a ter te <laughs> this plate, awesome plate. And I believe, uh, oh, I definitely want to spark up these other ones, don't I? Because um, the sparks are going to share around mana. Uh, I think that's at least how I understand it. Um, so, uh, oh, I want to fix that dirt. Does anyone else do that where the wood comes down and you can't see the grass, so you have to replace that dirt right there? Yeah, I do that. Um, I need to. I need to do that. One, two, three. Nope. Perfect! There is our first resonating gem. I'm amazed that there's no quest for that. That is absolutely incredible. Um, Alright, so... Ooh, what can we do with that? We can apparently make starlight. Not gonna do that. Um, we have all the starlight we'll ever need. Um, ooh, we can make ender tanks. That's nice. I like ender tanks. They're cool. They're very nice. Um, they're kind of like a fun, like a, to me, they're a better version of the, uh, the GPS thingamabobber, the nodes, but the, those are really awesome too. Um, all right. What else can we do with these? I know there's a whole bunch. Mixer, we can make the resonating chicken and primordial pearls. A flux sponge. Uh, interesting. Remove all the flux from a 9x9 nine nine chunk area. That's pretty nifty. Ooh, I like it. Me want, me want it. Uh, oh, mana chicken. Yes. We might have access to two chickens. I like chickens. Um, and I don't really like making the Fido, so that's pretty fantastic. And it looks like it's a minimal amount of mana to make the mana powder. Uh, yeah, that's that's reasonable. Oh, and we can make wizardry mana with it. That's nifty. Because um, I think, from my understanding, this, uh, this machine can do it the other direction, where we have fluid going in here, and then mana might be able to come out um, in the form of that stuff. So, like, Batania mana. So if we use this mana chicken, we might be able to make Batanium mana, along with wizardry for that matter, um, without using up Nitro Diesel. So we could free up our need for Petro Petunias, um, but those are also pretty cool. I love Nitro Diesel, so uh, that's fantastic. Um, I'm going to craft up some more of these, but uh, unfortunately... Oh, no, I picked it up. No. Uh, what, what do we already have down here? That. There we go. Um, I might have to call it there. Um, ooh, that was cool. I like that. I'm going to probably have to do that again. Let's see. Um, can I do it from here? One, two, three. I missed. Aw. Look down. One, two, three. Shift. Gently. 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 Ba-ding! <laughs> That's awesome. I like that a lot. Okay. Bye bye. Bye bye. We did a lot of magic stuff. I'm really excited. Look how cute I am. What do? What do? What do? What do? What do? What do? What do?